So this morning we're going to be talking about making some difficult decisions, difficult choices. Take a look at this picture. These are my friends. This is Alex and this is Chris. Uh, how do they know each other? What do you think? Maybe we work together. Okay, good. And what do we call people who work together? What's their relationship? They can be friends. They, they might be friends or? Colleagues. Colleagues. They could be colleagues. Yeah, people who work together are colleagues. Okay. Why do you think they might work together? Any reason why? Because we stay in some white room, but usually don't can be in house. Only okay. Office. So yeah. it looks like an office. Yeah. Good. Okay. And any other things that might tell you they are colleagues? About what they're wearing. Oh, yeah. um, official dresses. Yeah, so they're wearing a sort of shirt and suit. Yeah, so it looks quite formal, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. You two, you two, you two, and you two. Can you talk together for about two minutes and answer these two questions? Now, what do you think? Okay. Okay, so Enza and Bo, what's just happened? Um, I think they are the college and uh, they happened in the office and they are talking about the, maybe the company operation, operating department, about the financial. Oh. So they're handling the, like, the money and they're talking. The okay, so they're talking business. Yes. Okay, do you agree with that? Maybe they um, talking about a picture or in the notes picture. Maybe, maybe or about the equipment or okay. device or maybe I don't know. Okay. It's my opinion. That's fine. That's good, ladies. Mm -hmm. yes. Chris uh, is thinking about something. Maybe Alex uh, uh, told him uh, let's do this and. Is thinking about this thing. What thing? What what, are, what is he thinking about? about? Money, maybe some trip, uh, some going somewhere. Okay, okay. What do you two think? Yes, we are talking about their job. Okay. And uh, maybe they are taking a coffee because I was happy morning. Okay. Yeah? So, uh, what about this here? What's Chris thinking about? He's to not do sure. He's not sure about anything. Okay. If they're talking about what to have for drink, for, to drink, what might he be thinking about? Coffee or 
Ah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It could be, yeah. Okay, good. We're going to listen to them talking about this situation, okay? But before we do that, I'd like to check some words with you. What's Alex got in his hand? Um, Again? Wallet. Okay, good. What do you put in a wallet? Money. Anything else? Credit cards. Okay, good. And who usually has a wallet, a man or a woman? Usually, yes, yes. I've got an example here. Look at this one. It's a very old wallet, isn't it? Yes. Can you listen and repeat? It's a very old wallet. It's a very old wallet. Again? It's a very old wallet. It's a very old wallet. Look. Berry. 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 It's a old. very old wallet. It's a very old wallet. Excellent. Good. Okay. What kind of word is wallet? Is it an adjective, a verb? No. Okay, good. No. And where's the stress? Wallet. Okay, the first symbol, yeah. Good, okay. And we looked at the phonemic chart the other day a little bit, didn't we? So I'll write the script up. Wallet. 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 Okay, good. good. We'll come back to that in a moment. First, have a look at this. What is this? What is the Red Cross? Okay, it's an organisation, isn't it? Is it a business? No. What kind of organisation is it? Charity. Can you say that louder, Bo? Charity. Very good. It's a charity. It's a charity. How do charities get money? Donation. Okay, good. From, from other people. Yes. Yeah, from lots, lots of people give them donations. Good. And do they keep the money for themselves? No. 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 For what kind of people? Okay. Yes, good, good. Do you recognize these other charities? This is an international charity, Save the Children. They help children. children. Okay, what about this one? Do you know? UNICEF. yes. Who do they help? Do you know? Children again, yes. Children, I think, United Nations Charity for Children. What about this one? Yes. Well, yes, World Wildlife Fund, okay, it's for um, helping wild animals like yes. elephants and so on, okay, good. Can you listen and repeat? He gave money to charity. He gave money to charity. Again? He gave money to charity. Good. He gave money to charity. 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 He gave money to charity. He gave money to charity. Okay. He gave money to charity. Good. Good. Okay. What kind of word is charity? Good. Can you remember this sound the other day? We looked at it on Monday, the uh, 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 sound. Charity. 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 I want to tell you about my sister. In the mornings, she drives to work quite fast because she's usually late. She's very tired, half asleep. She takes a cup of coffee, so she, she drinks her coffee. 
she plays with the radio, sometimes she even does her makeup in the mirror. She doesn't always look at the road, okay, she's a bit like this. What kind of driver is she? Okay, yeah. Ooh, it's better. Okay. Is she a good driver? Okay. Does she pay attention to the road? No. Does she take a lot of care? No. So, do you know an adjective? Crazy. Uh, you could say that, yeah. Do you know an adjective with the word care in it that means that you don't take care? I look for. Dangerous You're right, it's true. She could be. She's a careless driver. She's a careless driver. Um, if you're careless, do you think about what you're doing? Not really. You don't think about what you're doing if you're careless. If you're careless, is it easy or difficult to have an accident? It's easy. Yes, okay. Very good. Can you listen and repeat? She's a careless driver. She's, She's a careless, careless driver. driver. She's a careless driver. She's, She's a careless, careless driver. driver. She's a careless driver. Good. She's a careless driver. Good. She's a careless driver. Fantastic. Thank you. Good. And what kind of word is careless? Good. Okay, so all of these words have the stress on the first syllable, mm -hmm. okay? And again we have the uh sound for less, for less. careless, careless. careless. We're going to go back to our friends, or my friends, I should say, Alex and Chris. And so you think that they're colleagues, that they're talking about work, and that they're thinking about, well, maybe they're thinking about tea or coffee, okay? Have a listen, and please, can you tell me the answer to these three questions, all right? Morning, Alex. Hi, Chris. Look, I just found a wallet on the stairs, and it's full of £20 notes. No cards, just cash. You're kidding. I need to find out who it belongs to. Why do you want to do that? If I found some money, I'd keep it. Would you really? Yes, of course I would. I'd give some to charity, but I'd spend the rest. I'd buy myself some new clothes. Or I'd have a party. Maybe I'd get a new mobile. I dropped mine in the bath last night. I probably wouldn't spend it all immediately. I'd save some for my holiday. I guess it'd depend on how much there was. Well, uh, keep it. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure I can keep it. It doesn't seem right. Of course you can. After all, the owner was really careless. They obviously don't need the money. How much is there anyway? About £180 by the looks of it. Oh, there's a piece of paper here with an address and a name on it. <laughs> OK, I think you're right. I'm going to put the cash in my pocket and take my girlfriend to that new Thai restaurant on Saturday. Good idea. Right decision. OK. I have to go and do some work. See you later, Chris. Yeah. Have a good day. Oh, Chris, by the way, thanks for the money. It was your wallet. OK. In your pairs, can you talk about the answers to those three questions? What did you hear? Yeah. 
Okay, so are they colleagues? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Any any clues? What told you they were colleagues? Uh, and uh, when we said what uh, way you need to start or uh, start working or go to work. They did. Yes, I have to start work now. I have to do some work. Good. Okay. What's just happened? What's just happened? I think uh, Alex found a wallet. Okay. And uh, in this wallet there are uh, there are the cars ID okay. only money and one address. Maybe. Okay, okay. Is that true? Yes? yes. You're happy with that? Okay, good. So that's what's just happened. And what are they talking or thinking about? Uh, Alex will know what he can do with the world. Okay. World. And what, what is Chris thinking about? To spend money. Okay, yes. Okay. Do you agree with that? Yes. Would you like to say any more about that? Okay, so he's thinking about some of the possibilities. Okay, okay, okay. And did we find out whose wallet it was? Okay, okay, it was Chris's wallet in the end. Right. We're going to listen again. What I'd like to do is to show you some more pictures. Okay. So Chris is talking about what he would like to spend the money on. Here are some ideas, but he doesn't want to spend the money on all of them. He wants to spend the money on some of them. So please listen and tell me which ones would he like to spend the money on, okay? Morning, Alex. Hi, Chris. Look, I just found a wallet on the stairs. And it's full of £20 notes. No cards, just cash. You're kidding. I need to find out who it belongs to. Why do you want to do that? If I found some money, I'd keep it. Would you really? Yes, of course I would. I'd give some to charity, but I'd spend the rest. I'd buy myself some new clothes. Or I'd have a party. Maybe I'd get a new mobile. I dropped mine in the bath last night. I probably wouldn't spend it all immediately. I'd save some for my holiday. I guess it'd depend on how much there was. Well, uh, keep it? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure I can keep it. It doesn't seem right. Of course you can. After all, the owner was really careless. Of course, you don't need the money. How much is there, anyway? About £180 by the looks of it. Oh, there's a piece of paper here with an address and a name on it. <laughs> OK, I think you're right. I'm going to put the cash in my pocket and take my girlfriend to that new Thai restaurant on Saturday. Good idea. Right decision. OK. I have to go and do some work. See you later, Chris. Yeah. Have a good day. Oh, Chris, by the way, thanks for the money. It was your wallet. OK. So, in your pairs, can you talk about which ones does Chris want to spend the money on? So we're talking about Chris, Chris, not Alex. Be more than one.
Okay, let's start with this picture here. What is it? Okay, put your hand up if you think Chris wants to spend his money or spend Alex's money that he found on a mobile. Yes? No? Not sure. That's okay, that's okay. You're right. He does want to spend his money on a new mobile. Okay. Or spend Alex's money on a new mobile. What about uh, this one here? Yes. What does this show us? Charity. Okay. Put your hand up if you think he would spend the money on a charity or give some money to charity. You think yes? Okay. Not sure? I think you're right. Yes. It is a charity. Good. Okay. He would give some to charity. What about uh, this one here? What is it? Some tree. Yes. Okay. And put your hand up if you think he'd spend his money on holiday. Why not? Because he said no. Okay. He did mention a holiday. Sorry? Hmm. He said he'd save he'd save the money or some money for his holiday. So I think it's sort of a half. He would spend some of it on his holiday, definitely. Okay, good. What about this one? Okay, so he'd have a party, would he? Yes? Okay, good. What about this one? Did he say that? Yes. Yes, okay. And this one? Yes. You did hear bath. You're right. But what did he say about the bath? Did you catch that? Was something about the mobile? Mm, no. Broke uh, his mobile. By water. He uh, dropped. He dropped his mobile in the bath. So that one, no, he doesn't want to buy a bath. What about this one? MP3 player. MP3 player. Yeah. Did he mention it? No. No, he didn't. No. Uh, and this one? Chris. Chris? No, Alex. Yes, Alex was talking about a restaurant, but not Chris. Good. Okay. So let's go back and look at Alex and Chris again. So, who has the wallet? Who found the wallet? Alex. Alex. Okay, so Alex has the money. Does Chris have some money? Does Chris have a wallet full of money? No, because he lost, lost it. Okay, okay. But he doesn't have the wallet full of money, does he? Chris has it. Okay. But in the text, Chris said, if I found some money, I'd keep it. If I found some money, I'd keep it. Did he find some money? Does he have a wallet with money in it now? No. Is it possible for Chris to find a wallet full of money? Uh, maybe. Uh, okay, <laughs> but is it a big possibility or a small possibility? It's a very small possibility, isn't it? Okay. Um, so he said, if I found some money, I'd keep it. Is this situation real or imaginary? imaginary. It's imaginary, isn't it? It's not real for Chris. Is it real for Alex? Yeah. But for Chris, it's not. Okay. So he said, if I found some money, if I, not you, I, if I found some money, I'd keep it. I'd keep it. Okay? If I found some money, what tense is this? It's the past tense. You're right, you are right. It's the past tense. But is he talking about the past? No, he's talking about. I think he's talking about now, and maybe the future. But he's talking about now. Why does he use a past verb? Okay, but why do we use a past verb in the second conditional? Because it's unreal. Absolutely right. Yeah, we want to show that it's unreal, that it's imaginary. Uh, okay, good. So. Uh, if I found some money, I'd keep it. I'd. I would. I would. I'd keep it. Good. Can you 
repeat. So just listen first. If I found some money, if I found some money, I'd keep it. I'd keep it. If I found some money, I'd keep it. If I found some money, I'd keep it. Is it possible that you will find some money? Big possibility or a small possibility? Very small, I think, yes. Okay, so we're talking about imaginary situation. Good. Okay, again, if I found some money, I'd keep it. If I found some money, I'd keep it. Okay, good. Now, let's go back to the pictures. Here. What else did he say? If I found some money... I'd buy a new phone. OK, can you repeat? If I found some money, I'd buy a new phone. If I found some money, I'd buy a new phone. Everybody, nice and loud. If I found some money, I'd buy a new phone. If I found some money, I'd buy a new phone. Excellent. OK. Um, OK, I'd buy new clothes. So if I found some money, I'd buy new clothes. If I found some money, I'd buy new clothes. OK, good. One more. If I found some money, I'd buy new clothes. OK, good. Can you give me one more example from here? This one, maybe? If I found some money, I'd make a party. Make a party? We don't say make a party. What verb do we use with party? I'd. I'd have a party. Good. If I found some money, I'd have a party. Good. Good. If I found some money, I'd have a party. I'd have a party. Good. Again? If I found some money, I'd have a party. Brilliant, Bruna. Good. If, uh, if I found some money, I'd have a party. I'd, I'd have a party. Good. This, is, this one is in the past, but this one is in the present. I'd have a party. Good, Enza. Thank you. OK, excellent. Let's write this down. OK, so this is the sentence, if I found some money, uh, I'd keep it, is our first sentence. So how do we make the second conditional then? We start off with, we have if plus, what's this? Good, the subject, good, plus, very good. And then we have I is the subject, good, plus. OK, so mm, yes, and this word is would, OK. So we can, we usually contract it when we're speaking, but we can also write it, good, OK. And then it's followed by the no. present. present. What, what verb is keep? Um, it's the, you've got three verbs, haven't you? If you think of the irregular, irregular verb table, the first, verb. it's the infinitive. OK, good. So would and d contraction is a positive. What's the negative? Good. Excellent. Any questions about this? So are we talking about a real situation or an imaginary situation? Are we talking about the past or the present? Yes. Okay, good. Let's practice. Okay, so very simply, 
we're going to uh, just change the end of the sentence. OK, we're going to change this verb. All right, so we'll start with, if I found some money, I'd keep it. If, let's, let's do it. So in the tape, he said, if I found some money, because he was comparing uh, him and his friend, OK? So if I found some money, I'd keep it. OK, everyone, let's get some energy in here, OK? Everyone sit up, pens down, look at me. Yes, lots of energy. So, when I show you a card, I'm going to show you a verb. And you must change the ending and put the new ending on, OK? So, ready? If I found some money, I'd return it. If I found some money, I'd buy some shoes. If I found some money, I'd go on holiday. Ladies? If I found some money, I'd give it to charity. Gentlemen? If I found some money, I'd buy some shoes. OK, good, good, good. Right, this time you're really happy. If I found some money, I'd return it. You're angry. If I found some money, I'd go on holiday. You're very sad. If I found some money, I'd give it to charity. OK, good. Right, let's try with the first part. So we'll keep this. I'd keep it. I'd keep it. OK, so if I found 20 pounds, I'd give it. If I won 500 pounds, I'd keep it. Very good. OK, all together, if... I won some. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I won five hundred, if I won five hundred pounds, I'd keep it. If I won five hundred pounds, I'd keep it. Okay. If I won fifty pounds, I'd keep it. Okay. If I had lots of money, I'd keep it. Good. Okay, Francesco. If I found a twenty pound, I'd keep it. Very good. Francesca? If I found uh, 500 pounds, I'd keep it. Very good. Uh, Bruna? If I found uh, 50 pounds, I'd keep it. Very good. Uh, Enza? Um, if I um, found 20 pounds, I'd keep it. Very good. Bo? If I found 50 pounds, I'd keep it. Excellent. If I've had lots of money, I'll keep it. Very good. Daniel? If I found 50 pounds, I'll keep it. Excellent job. OK. I'd like to show you something rather special. What's that? One million dollars. One million dollars. Is there a one million dollar note? Is it real? No, it's fake. No. Is it possible to have a one million dollar note? No. no. OK, so we're going to imagine yeah. that we have this, OK? okay. So, have a look at this table, okay? If I had one million dollars, I'd buy a bigger house. I'd travel around the world. I wouldn't move to Britain because I live here already. I wouldn't give half of it to charity. I'd give some of it to charity. I wouldn't give a lot of it to my family. I'd give some of it to my family. Uh, I wouldn't get a Porsche. I'm not interested in that. And mm, I probably wouldn't buy designer clothes. OK. In your pairs, can you please take it in turns to make sentences that are true for you? OK. Two minutes. I like 
to spend this morning on our things. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Thank you very much. Daniel, tell us something about your partner. He, he had uh, one million dollars. He, he wouldn't buy, buy the same clothes. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Good. Um, Enza, tell us something about Bo. Um, if she had one million, one million dollars, she she would um, um, travel. Uh, um, she it's much more natural around the world. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much, Bruna. Tell us something about Enza. If she had one million dollars, she wouldn't give a uh, half of it to charity. Okay, like me. Good. I don't feel so bad now. Okay, good. <laughs> and uh, can you tell us something about your partner? Tell us something about um, Francesca. Uh, she had uh, one million dollars. Uh, she she couldn't buy designer clothes. Okay, so not many designer clothes going on. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Take a look at this sentence here. Here are the verbs. Can you make the sentence with the correct yeah. grammar? Yeah. Okay, good. I am Happy with that? Yeah. Yes, excellent. Okay, there are five more sentences like this. Can you put the verbs in the correct form? Take care with number five. <coughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good. Is the past simple? Yeah. Okay. So what's this one, Daniel? Here. If it's the. Past simple. So what's the verb? Good, good. Okay. Have a quick check. Do you have the same? When you finish, can you check with your partner and check that you've got the same answers? Have a look at number five. Are you sure it's correct? Yeah. Take care with it. Okay, shall we have a look? So number one, uh, Seto, would you like to try number one, please? Uh, if I had more time, I'd take uh, Italian lessons. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Yes. Yes, fantastic, thank you very much. Um, Daniel, number two. If I call live anywhere in the world, I Live? Pronunciation? 
I live. If I could live. Good, good. Okay, are you happy with that? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Um, Enza? If I went to Japan, I'd try eating sushi. Okay? Yes. yes, good. Thank you very much. Francesca, number four. If I told you out of for lunch, we would go to a Chinese restaurant. You happy with that? Yes. Yep. Very good. Okay, and the last one, Francesco. If I'd call the police, no, I'd call the police if I saw a. Yes. Okay, so what's happened here with the word order? Or with the order of the clauses? You change the order of the clauses. And is that okay? Yeah. Does the meaning change? No. It's the same, okay? But we have to remember after if. It's past simple. Good. Okay. Now, if we look at this sentence for me, if I had a million dollars, um, I wouldn't buy a bigger house. I'd buy a different house. I'd buy a small, cozy, comfortable cottage in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by fields and trees and animals. Okay. So I could play my music really loud and nobody could hear me. Okay, would you? Okay. Can I ask you to talk with your partners and to tell them if these are true or false? If they're, if they're not correct for you, if they're different, can you make them true for you? So change the information so that it's true about you. Okay? with it so it's true okay and say why so if I to practice using the structure <laughs> okay but um, are there any other lessons you would prefer to take can you make a sentence if no, you can speak. Say it. Okay. You take French lessons. Okay, good, good. Carry on. If I ah, you want to be careful here. Yes. If I okay, yes, because we've changed them round. Yes, yes. We say UFO. I try before, but I don't know. I try to do this. I don't get A crime? Somebody doing something they shouldn't. Talk. It is, yes. Talk. Yes. No, I was right wrong. You did, yes. So it's T-O-O-K. Mm. 
T double O K. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Thank you very much. Bruna, can I stop there? Bruna, can you tell us something about Sveta? What did you learn about Sveta? Uh, if she had more time, she would take a friend to us. She would uh, take uh, a friend to us. Why? Did you find out why? Because she said it's a second old language. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Enzo, can you tell us about both? Um, if she could live anywhere in the world, then she'd live in the Asia. Asia. Okay. Any particular country? Mm. Any which country? Um, maybe Japan or my country, Taiwan. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's great. Good. Um, I've forgotten your name. Thank you, sorry. Can you tell me about your partner, Francesca? Um, if she took uh, you out for lunch, um, she would go to a Japan restaurant, not to China. Japanese restaurant, <laughs> okay. Okay, good, good. Francesca, can you tell us something about Daniel? Uh, if, uh, no, it's just in, uh, if he could uh, live anywhere in the world, uh, he, uh, he would live in uh, California. Again? Again, he'd live in California. Why? Because he likes Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Right, we're going to focus on questions and talking about some difficult situations now. So, okay, if we go back to our first sentence, if I, if I found some money, I'd keep it. How do we make this into a question? If you found some money, what will you do? What, uh, what would you do? Ah, okay, good. So we've got here. So if so, the if clause is the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ask a yes/no question. Go on. Okay. So maybe, what, maybe what's changed? Sentence, uh, if you found okay, good, thank you, yes. Okay, if you found some money, would you keep it? What's changed here? Order of words. Yeah. Which, which words have changed? Order and subject. Wood and the subject, yep, so it's very simple, you just change them round, good. But if you want to make a, an information question with a WH word, where do we put it? So you'd put it here, okay, so if you found some money, what was your question, Sveta? Uh, what would you do? Okay, what would you do okay fantastic so we're going to have a look at that and have a little bit of a practice okay. I'm going to put you into two groups of four okay so I'm gonna ask you can you stand up for me do you mind thank you very much could you go could you just go and no. oh it's gonna be difficult isn't it okay can you both stand up for me? Maybe we can't go away. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I think. Can you just crouch down just uh -huh. here? Is that okay, Daniel? You don't mind, do you, for a few minutes? And if you can sit here, I'll just go, okay. Good, good, good. And so if you can just lean across the table a little bit. There we go, fantastic. You can sit down, you're okay. <laughs> he can stand, it's fine, it's fine. He'll be okay, he's young, he's healthy. Right, do not look at the back, okay? The answers are on the back, do not look at the back. Have a look at A. Can you see A? 
Here is a question. You've got the verbs. Can you put the verbs in the correct form? What should it be? If you... OK, excellent. Fantastic. So, you can turn it over and check your answer. Yes? Yes. yes? 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 Fantastic. Good. Can you work together? Can you do uh, B, C, D, E and F, please? You can write them on if you want. That's fine. When you finish, you can turn it over and check your answers. Would you tell him? Yes, hit, hit, hit. Now I think if that's okay. You're still going to work in a group, but you're going to you can speak, so you can take a seat. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I just want to check pronunciation of. Saw. 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 It's this sound. Or like horse, saw. Okay, good. Now I'd like you to work in your groups, please, and take it in turn. So one person pick up a card, and I want you to ask the people in your group that question, and then I'd like you to talk about it. What would you do in these situations? Mm -hmm. Alex and Chris, or well, Alex, had a difficult situation to think about, didn't he? Should he keep the money or give it back? Is that an easy decision to make? Not really, is it? It's a little bit, well, you know, we're not sure of the answer. So, these are all similar situations. Can you please discuss them in your groups and decide what you would do in these situations?
and yeah. our ski yeah. icon yeah. and uh, Carol uh, uh, stays uh, uh, near, uh, it's so uh, months down too, uh, but uh, I leave a uh, 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 piece of paper uh, okay. and 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 you and 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 If your best friend tried to rent a relay and his clothes, then uh, would you tell him? I would eat some and I will tell him not to. Yeah. I need to. You need clothes. Uh, if you saw someone in the bar, uh, would you stop him? Uh, if you saw a classmate cheating in an accident, would you tell him? Stop the bar. A servant's uh, can be. Uh, 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 if I, if I really saw a classmate cheating in an exam, yes. uh, Maybe he has a weapon. Next. If you saw a classmate in the exam, you tell your teacher. You were driving. No, okay. If when he car in a car park, I'd leave my address and my number. If I look in the door, of course not. Okay, yes. I'm going to stop here. Thank you very much. So, Sveta, what did you learn about your group? Mm -hmm. uh, just Daniel uh, will uh, return wallet, uh, and if uh, in wallet uh, will be uh, some ID. Uh, okay, so let's think about that. If there, uh, if uh, Daniel found some, uh, uh, if Daniel found wallet. Uh, he uh, 
he'd, uh, return. he'd return it good. And inside, if... If inside world... If they're... If they're... Not is, but... There, there were. If there... You could say there were, was, if there were, or there was... There was some money. Some, I, some money, or some, I think... Some card, some... Or ID. He'd return it or keep it? Return. He'd return it. Okay. So, are your group an honest group no. of people? No. Why not? Only that, yes. Because only that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Enzo, what about your group over here? Um, we are agree for um, a, a lot of questions. Yeah. So, uh, if uh, we saw someone uh, who's stealing a car, we would call, we'd call the police, but okay. uh, we wouldn't tell him. Or you wouldn't say anything to him at all, no. no. Probably a good idea really, yeah. isn't it? Okay, fantastic. Just one thing to check before we go, before we finish. Okay. This one. So this is talking about the car. Okay, this is something I heard. If it saw too many people, I'd leave a note. This is good, isn't it? But we need to make some changes here. So what can we do? What's the subject of this sentence? Many people. Ah, good. So if... Ah, good. If too many people saw it. And it, we mean the, the accident, don't we? If too many people saw the accident, I'd leave a note. Okay, good. Very good with would and I'd. You were getting much better at using I'd. It sounded much more natural, so well done on that. In a few places, uh, this verb here causing a few problems. So have a think about that when you're using it. Think about it's been the past simple, okay, after if. Does anyone have any questions? No. no? Thank you very much for today. You've worked very hard. I'd like to give you some homework. Is that okay? Bye. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> for tomorrow, I'd like you please, you can take the cards with you. Uh, so you can make a note of them um, before you go for coffee or after coffee. I'd like you please to write and tell me what you would do in each of those sentences and why. Okay? So what you would do in each of those sentences and why. And uh, you've been speaking about it, so now you're just going to write it down and think about it in that way. How many sentences or how many things are you going to write about? Five, six. I think it's A to F. <laughs> Who's good at maths? Thank you. Six. So you're going to talk about six different situations. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Please go for coffee. Thank and you. I'll come and see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you.